Hey everyone, in this video I will walk you through my process for creating a match cut animation. Match cuts are when you match similar elements in motion to create a seamless transition. In my project example, I'm using a sword and a match, which I've drawn similar in size and I have them moving at the same speed and along the same motion path. And now that you have a basic understanding of match cuts, let's walk through the specific sequences of my animation. First, I'm planning to start with the sword and then have it transition into the match. I also want this to be a looping animation, so I will have the match transition back into the sword. Lastly, I will have the flame of the match animated using frame animation. It's important to take a moment to think through the sequence of animation so you know how to set up your animation the right way. And now that I've broken down the animation, let's dive into Procreate Dreams. For my project, I'm using 12 frames per second and 1080 by 1080 and setting my starting duration to 3 seconds long. Feel free to customize your settings to fit your project needs. And as you can see, I have my sword, match, and flame already drawn out as individual frames. Feel free to draw your own elements or download the starting file in the link in the description. The first step I'm going to do is create the frame animation for the flame by redrawing the flame two times. This will give the illusion that the flame is moving. So I'll enter the flipbook mode and on the next blank frame I will start redrawing the flame and I'll add some subtle changes around the tips of the flames while maintaining the general shape of the previous drawing and I'm leaving some space empty at the bottom for where the match will be. Once done, I will add a new blank frame and I will redraw the flame a second time. Now, I'll return to the timeline and enter the timeline edit mode and I'll select all three frames and group them. And then I'll drag the group to the bottom track. The next step will be to organize and group my assets based on my animation plan. So I'll start by selecting the sword and the match and with one finger on the timeline I will drag one of the frame edges to extend them so they're both one second long. Next I'll extend the match frame an extra half second and since I will have the match transition back, I'll copy and paste the sword to the end of the track and I'll trim it down so it ends with the end of the duration. Now I'm going to move the flame animation group down to align with the start of the match frame. Next, I'll start duplicating the group until it reaches the end of the match frame. Now I'll select all these groups and the match frame above and I'll group them. And then I'll move this new group back on to the first track. And now I'll delete the empty tracks. Next I'll rename it Match. And to create the smooth consistent animation I will go ahead and group all of them into one group that I can add keyframes to. The last step is to keyframe the animation. I'm going to expand the group so I can see the cuts as I place the keyframes. I'm going to start by positioning the action button around half of a second mark and I will tap on the action icon and then tap on move and scale to add a movement keyframe. Next I'm going to go to the canvas and tap on the circle with the three dots and I'll tap on edit anchor. Currently the anchor is set to the center of the group, but I want to create a rotation animation that's anchored to the bottom of the group. So I'm going to tap on the anchor point and I'm going to drag it to the bottom center and then I'll tap done. Now I'll add a new keyframe at the 12 frame mark and I want to add some anticipation before the match cut so I'll actually rotate the group in the opposite direction of my main animation. Next I will go forward a couple frames past when the match starts and I'll add a keyframe and now I'll rotate the group to the right side. Next, I'll move the playhead another four frames forward and I'll add a keyframe and I'll tap on the keyframe to bring up an overlay. And I'm going to set the rotation to zero. 
This way the animation will overshoot to the right and then come back to the standing position. And since I want to just hold on the movement, I'll go to two seconds in the timeline and add a keyframe. Since I'm not changing any of the movement attributes, this keyframe will just be a duplicate of the previous one, which will create a hold in the movement. Now I can begin setting up the loop back to the sword. So I'll move half a second forward and add a keyframe. Now I'll rotate the group to the right to create some anticipation. Then I will go a few frames past the start of the sword and add a keyframe. And this time I will rotate the group to the opposite end. And now I'll add a keyframe on the very last frame and set the rotation value to zero. And now I'll tap on play to review the full animation. Nice! The last thing I'll do is animate the opacity so it looks like the match ignites and goes out as it's moving. So I'll expand the match group and then tap on the first subgroup and this time I will tap on filter and then opacity to add an opacity keyframe. Next I'll go back a couple of frames and add a new keyframe and this time I will drag the opacity down to zero. Next I'll go to the last subgroup and I'll add a keyframe. Next I'll go to the last frame of that group and I'll add a new keyframe and drag the opacity down to zero so it looks like the flame will fade out. And that's it! Thanks for watching. Feel free to check out some of my other Procreate Dreams tutorials. Bye for now.